how to do Django aggregate with distinct. First open Django shell. So for that you can use this command python manage.py shell. Right now we are in shell Django shell. So let me import this count from Django DB dot models. Then I'm going to import the building class from my custom model. So I imported count and one building model class. That building model class is my own class. The counter is a Django built in counter. Then I am going to query from the building model so building table has 41 rows so i am going to get to the count So that building table has one column named agent and one column named user. So I am going to take the count of use user building dot object dot filter then agent is equal to some ID then aggregate count is a variable name then equal to count then the column name which you want to count. So I got the result count 29 by default the count will count the duplicate item so if you put distinct is equal to 2 true it will eliminate the duplicate so let me copy this line so the different difference is I added distinct is equal to true see now it's showing count 7 so it's eliminated the duplicate user so let me check how many um, uh, users are there who's ID is not none so I'm querying from building table if user if b dot user that is if b dot user is not none I am going to increment user count I am showing this just for understanding so see its user count is 29 so this table has 29 users whose ID is not none. So this is the same result, I got it. So that 29, actually that building has 41 rows. So if you add, if but only 29 rows as user is not none. Actually, 41 rows is there in that building table, but only 29 rows as rows which has user is not none. So you can see the count is actually a part of Django building Django library. So you can see the help of count.
actually it's not explained it's not it's not mentioned about the distinct is equal to the distinct is equal to true actually distinct is equal to is a keyword argument i think in django documentation you can see it but in the source the doc string it's not mentioned so it's not mentioned in the doc string so if you look at the django documentation documentation there you can see the distinct is equal to true option which you can pass to the count class okay this way you can do limit the duplicate